Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are trying some classic Kiwi snacks along with a few others that are snacks that I've discovered myself in New Zealand. So sorry if they're not actually from here, but we're gonna dig in and try so many different things. I'm super excited. We have a special guest right here, Donovan Kelly. Donovan and I have been in New Zealand for over a year now. We've also tried a lot of classic Kiwi beers and some not so classic Kiwi beers. So head over to his channel to check out those videos, which I will link down below for you. Let's get snack a lacking. Let's, Let's get, get snacking. Snackin'. First up are twisties. So these seem to be like the poor man's cheesy. I don't know. I have read that they're not that great. Rip them open. We'll share a mini bag like that. They smell like cheesies. They smell like the cheesies that are not actually cheesy brand though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Actually, those are not bad. Mm. I don't mind that. I'm gonna rate that like an eight out of 10, right off the hop. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna rate that. I would probably never buy those, but it's not bad. Next up, we've got Burger Ring. So also from the Bluebird brand. Don't let the munchies get the better of you. Take one bite of these tasty snacks and let the full on burger flavor take over. Wow. Well, they are rings. I thought they would be the size of a burger. They smell so bizarre. Mm. It's another very dry snack. Mm. The aroma is quite intense compared to the flavor. It smells like a pool, like a public pool, like chlorinated cleaning products. It's like kind of barbecue-y, more towards like a spicy end, but it's not that spicy. Like it's not spicy at all, mm -mm. but it feels like it has like a few of those flavors that would make you think that a, mm. a spice is coming. It's getting better the more I'm eating. Is it for you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm getting more flavor. No, not for me. I think the twisties are a little better, but I give these like a five and a half. Next up, we've got shapes. I've seen these crackers in every grocery store. I frequently get them. They're usually on sale. I don't know for sure if they're kiwi or not. Cheese and bacon flavor. Oh, what the heck? It's like a cheese nip. It's like glowing bacon? red. It's glowing Look bacon. Look at it. It's glowing bacon. Oh wow, you really get the bacon. Oh. Remember those bacon bits that you could buy like in a plastic? Like, um, what were they? Like in a shaker? Arnott's Australia. Oh. Explore, exporting to the world. Okay. Made Sorry. in Australia. Sorry, y'all. They smell so bacony. They smell like dog treats, like dog treat bacon. I'll take these over those other two any day. Mm. Well, I'm not crazy on the flavor, actually. I think twisties are better. Six out of 10. Some of the flavors of shapes are really, really good. This one's not my favorite, but I've had the pizza one before, I think, which I have on the back. And we've definitely had the barbecue one before, which was pretty good. So we've got LMP, which is lemon and payroa. Good lemony stuff. We have had this many times before. I think we both really enjoy it, but it's been a while. We haven't had it in a while. <laughs> wow. This is warm. It was just in the cabinet. So we've got a glass of ice here. Cooler down right away. Oof. Wow, it's so carbonated. So in Canada, a lot of times we'll just say pop. And oh, in America, that's right. it's, it's very like soda. Mm -hmm. um, and down here, it's fizz. Fizz, it, it is fizzy. Yeah. So do you want to go first? I'd love to go first. Mm, it looks and smells amazing. It's like, it smells like Sprite or 7 Up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just, that's nice. <laughs> We're not big soda pop fizz drinkers. But if we are out and about, it is, uh, it's kind of nice to grab every once in a while. Mm. We normally go for the bees. Yeah, this is like almost ginger ale slash ginger beer slash Sprite to me. Mm. Like it has a good mix of spices, but also super refreshing and lemony, citrusy. Yeah. I don't know what Peyroa is, but it's good. I would give this a solid nine out of 10. It could be a little less sweet for me. That's really the only thing, but it is pop, so. Highly recommend it if you're out on a hot day and like you only have things like Coca-Cola or Sprite or something to choose from. LMP is a really good choice. Now we've got a Feijoa kombucha from Low Bros. Low Bros is from Australia. I am well aware of that. However, the reason I picked this up for this video is because it's Feijoa flavored. 
I don't know if this is super popular in Australia, but we have seen this flavor, this fruit all over the place here. So I thought we would give it a mention. The Lobros kombuchas are decent. I prefer to do like the local, the local kombucha breweries if I can. Right out of the bottle. Ooh, it's just very vinegary. Right. I love kombucha. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. It has a very distinct flavor. We have actually tried feijoa like from someone's backyard that had a tree. Crisp melon type of flavor, almost like a white freezy. If you know what a white freezy is from North America, it kind of has that almost vanilla flavor to me. It has so much going on in it. I can't mm -hmm. even put my thumb on one thing. I totally get that. It's like the Gatorade, like the white Gatorade uh, yeah, that you can yeah. buy. Melon, Melon, like kind of tangy, yeah, punchy, mm -hmm. subtle like bitter undertone. It's Ooh. not my favorite flavor. I don't gravitate towards feijoa, but it's okay. Like I would give that, I give that like a four or five out of 10. It's not my favorite. Just because it's in kombucha, I think it's maybe the vinegar flavor of kombucha is taking over the feijoa a lot. Mm. I ended up getting two of these because they were on sale, like two for seven. These came up on so many lists for classic kiwi snacks. New Zealand, New Zealand made. So we're gonna try the hokey pokey ones mm. and those ones. Hokey pokey and strawberry jube. Cool. I have heard that these are extremely sweet, but we're gonna do it anyway. And hokey pokey is one of the most iconic flavors in New Zealand. So I had to include something with hokey pokey. This is one of a couple of things that are hokey pokey, but let's dig into these. They look adorable. They look so cute. You're right, they, they do look like they're gonna be very sweet. They smell so strong just out of the box. Oh, yeah. oh. squiggles, cheers. Wow, that, yep, that's sweet. Very artificial fruit flavor in this one. It does though, it tastes like a um, jelly tip. Oh, does it? I forgot about jelly tip. Why didn't you get a jelly tip? <laughs> People don't I know forgot. what that is. I know. If you don't know what jelly tip is, I'll put a photo of it right here. We have tried them in the past. We weren't crazy about them, but it's a very popular flavor. Like you see it in a lot of different treats like cookies and ice creams and everything. It's okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I think the hokey pokey is better. Mm. I didn't really break it down, but. Okay. Lots of sponge toffee in it. Obviously that is what hokey pokey is. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just maybe less artificial fruit flavor than, Ooh. than this raspberry jube. It smells so strong. Bit of a mm. cream in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one's good. It's very sweet, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I would give both of these like a five out of 10. They're just way too sweet for me, but they're good. The cookie part and the inside is really good. Okay, this package is 215 grams and for every 100 grams, there's 47.3 grams of sugar. That's so there's a like 100 grams of sugar in this package and there's like 12 cookies in here. Wow. That's a lot of sugar. I need, a, I need water after that. <laughs> I need more sugar, L and P. Mm. Next up, we've got a marshmallow fish. I think normally these come in a smaller package and they're much smaller than this one. They're just called chocolate fish, sorry. Dark chocolate raspberry. Smells good. S'more. You could just mm. put graham cracker on top and bottom. Yeah, and that's a up. really good idea. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's very pink. Mm-hmm, raspberry. I don't typically like chocolate with marshmallow, but that's pretty good. Mm. It's a really nice consistency. Like the marshmallow isn't too gooey. The chocolate is so thin, like a chocolate layer. I'm curious if you guys have a brand that's like your go-to for chocolate fish, leave a comment down below. I don't know if this is like exactly what it's supposed to be, but if it is, this is really good. Like I'd give this a eight out of 10. RJ's. I don't actually know if they're from here. Oh, they are. Next up, we've got RJ's chocolate log. So RJ's is New Zealand, is a New Zealand brand made in New Zealand. This isn't one that I've seen pop up on any like classic kiwi snacks. But this is one that Donovan has completely fallen in love with, especially the ones that have the chocolate in the middle like this one. But their licorice, just mm. all the different kinds of licorice they make oh. are so delicious and have such a nice natural like fruit flavor instead of artificial. Plus the texture, everything about it is just, it's the best licorice I've had in my life. Yeah, like it's so soft. Yeah. 
and easy on the teeth. It's not like super chewy. Love it. Yeah. Mm. See, just the texture right out the hop. I'm like, oh wow, this is it's so soft. Quality. Mmm. Delicious. You would never think chocolate with licorice in the same thing would taste good. I know. But it works. It really does. Mm hmm. Best licorice mm. I've ever had in my life. So good. Highly underrated. People should be talking about this more. Next up, we've got Pascal's Pineapple Lumps. This is the one snack that just came up on every single list when I was looking up snacks to do for this video, and we have not tried these at all. According to the package, these are made in Australia. Leave me a comment down below as to why this is always on Classic Kiwi Snacks. If it's made in Australia, maybe it was invented here. I don't know, but let's dig in. Smells pineapple-y. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so chewy. Oh, it's like taffy in the inside. So bizarrely chewy. I wasn't expecting that. Me either. It's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah, if it was less chewy, I think it'd be fine. I think the flavor's okay, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of people who like that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be more fruity and more, mm -hmm. yeah. I thought it'd be like biting into a piece of pineapple with a bit of chocolate on it. Yeah, I'll give that like a four out of 10. I would not buy those again. The flavor's not bad though. Like the chocolate on the outside is pretty decent. Next on the list is Jaffa's Orange Candy Coating Dark Chocolate Center Flavored Confectionery. RJ's, which we know is an amazing brand. I mean, they make that licorice. That's 10 out of 10. But Jaffa's, we haven't tried yet. Jaffa's chocolate, a kiwi icon on the back. Orange and chocolate is popular here, which I'm a big fan of. So I have high hopes for this one. I thought that's what you call people from Auckland. I didn't know that, that it was its own candy here. Okay. It's like a big M&M. Oh, it really pops. It is like a giant M&M, giant orange. It's like a Terry's chocolate orange that's tiny, covered in an M&M coating. But like a crispier coating than what you find on an M&M. Yeah, it is very crunchy. Oh, that's very orangey. For me, the dark chocolate with the orange isn't off-putting, but it doesn't really make me want to go back for, for more, which maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good snack. I can have one, get my fix, mm -hmm. and put Push it away. Push them aside. Yeah, because <laughs> I think I'm good after one. I really like the chocolate with the orange. That flavor is incredible. However, the exterior is a little too crunchy for even me, and I like crunchy. I give that like a seven. I think that's a contender. It's not amazing, but it's not mediocre. Like it's a little better than that. I just love a good chocolate and orange flavor together. Jet Planes are another classic Kiwi snack. And again, from Pascal's. So from Australia, I guess. I, I don't exactly know the history or why it's a classic Kiwi snack. Same as the pineapple lumps if it's made by an Australian company. To me, these look like noses, not Oh, that's what you were a talking plane. about. A plane. Like I, when I first saw these at the ice cream shop we went to, I was like, why are there giant noses for candies? Like I don't get it. But when you look closer, it actually is a nose? like a plane. It looks more like a little foot dinosaur, or like a duck foot mm. or something to me. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible. It's no RJ's logs, don't get me wrong. RJ's logs. <laughs> it really makes you work for it. I like the flavor though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's different colors. Mm hmm Oh, this is lime. Ooh, this one's good. Mm. I like a good jelly bean or gummy, and this mm. has some like bite to it. Depending on the flavor, it actually makes a huge difference because the lime one, the green one we just tried, is like really good. Like it's that good. flavor is really, really good. The pink one wasn't crazy about. I don't know what flavor that was. Six and a half for Pascal Jet Planes. Depends on the flavor, the texture. It's a little more chewy than we'd probably like, but not bad at all. Yeah, that's a solid snack. Like I would eat that again. I'd probably buy it again. We've got Moro Gold and then the original Moro Bar. These again, made in Australia, but they were on so many different lists I saw. So we're gonna try them anyway. Mm. We have not had these before. I haven't had a chocolate bar like this in forever. <laughs> oh, they, yours looks like a Mars bar. It does. Okay. Mmm. Oh wow. That's like so good. Yours not. <laughs> this is good. There's like Rice Krispies in the inside. Oh. 
I really like that one. I don't know what's up with that. It was all going well, and then another flavor was introduced, and I was like, oh. Oh. Well, it's not black licorice, but it was kind of black licorice-esque. Oh, I'm afraid now. Yeah, I actually have heard that the Moro bar is like the poor man's Mars bar. Oh. I like that one. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This isn't bad. No, it's not horrible, but. I don't get black licorice. It's What's like that flavor that comes in? Is it molasses? It's sort of like a Mars bar, but it's like the dollar store version of the Mars bar, which is what a lot of people described it as. Mm. I would give the Moro Gold nine out of 10. It's really, really good. My only complaint is the chocolate is a little too like milky on the fake side. The regular Moro bar I would give like a six. I'm pleasantly surprised by both of them actually. Next up is cookie time. So I did end up getting this little box. It is getting close to Easter. So this is what was available at the supermarket. We have actually been to the cookie time location where they make all the cookies many times because we lived in that area for a few months and the cookies are incredible. Go to cookie time to get the deals. Yeah, get the broken cookie bits if yeah. you can get to the Christchurch location because yeah. it's just the craziest deal. Yeah, compared to those Christmas buckets, mm -hmm. never again. Bit of a rip off. In this little bundle, we've got a couple of these miniature fun cookies. They're so cute. They do. Oh. I thought it was gonna be soft. They're rock hard again. <laughs> Chip a tooth. You need milk with it. I know. And it's a little too crunchy. Because almost every dairy, convenience store, grocery store in New Zealand, you can find like a nice big round cookie for like three or four dollars. And they're soft. And they're Those delicious. ones are soft? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are crunchy triple chocolate cookies. This was $10. For two cookies and an egg? For two tiny cookies and an egg. Mm. A little expensive. So if you can, like I said, get to the actual location, you're going to get a much better deal. Cheap chocolate. Not Fake chocolate. Not super impressed. Uh-uh. They do make good cookies. They do. Like, don't take this as, you know, our fully formed opinion. Yeah. I would just avoid seasonal things. Seasonal stuff, yeah. Like, don't bother <laughs> with the cookie buckets in Christmas. <laughs> don't bother with this Easter package or whatever. There's much, much better chocolate in New Zealand, which we're gonna go over. Not worth 10 bucks or, it was like $12 normal price, so. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed in that. Made in Australia, yeah. Proudly. Proudly made in Australia, okay. So yes, it is made in Australia. Another thing made in Australia, I had never heard of these or never had Milky Bar before. So we're including it. When we first got to Auckland, we went into McDonald's and I got like a Milky Bar coated cone, like dip oh, cone. Is that, what that, that was the first time I think I tried this. And then oh. we've had a few bars in the past, but it's been many months since we've had one of these. I really like white chocolate, but this is really good. It's very creamy. Mm, I like that. Yeah. It's like Hershey's, the cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Like the, the cream part of that right. bar. Very similar. Really smooth. Even though I don't like white chocolate, like I would give that a eight and a half out of 10. That's really, really good. Next up, Whitaker's chocolate, specifically Hokey Pokey Crunch. Like I mentioned earlier, Hokey Pokey is really popular here. Hokey Pokey is the same thing as sponge toffee. It's in ice cream, it's in chocolate, it's in cookies, it's everywhere. It's good. Now, Whitaker's chocolate is the best chocolate in New Zealand, according to me, 10 out of 10, depending on what type of flavors you like. They have a bar for it. They have so many different flavors. Yeah. Hokey Pokey is definitely one of our favorites and we've had it many times, many, many, many times. Yeah. Like this is probably our 20th bar in the last year. That's, That's being embarrassing. Conservative. Yeah. Coconut one too. Mm. Mm. So good. Also Hazella, which we recently discovered with the hazelnut filling. Yeah, you That's so was, good. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. It's been mm. a while since we had hokey pokey though. I know. What a treat. Mm. I will say, if you don't like super sweet things, hokey pokey probably isn't the flavor for you. It is very sweet. It's very sugary. I mean, it's caramelized sugar. That's what hokey pokey is or sponge toffee. Love it. That's so good. But you can't eat a whole lot of it. I feel like a couple of bites and then it's like, whew, all right. Easily the biggest thing that I'm gonna miss. Yeah, super easy to get your hands on. Just so many flavors. Yeah. And you get like a really big hefty bar for like five or six bucks. So it's really good value too. 
Yeah, like back home, we never bought anything over like $2. Yeah. And now we're like buying five, fifty, six dollar bar bars I know. of chocolate. Yeah, we're living <laughs> so the high life wine. snack wise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys know how to snack, I'll give you that. Yeah. I read a comment in one of your previous videos that said you can get Whitakers in British Columbia. Yeah. So I'm really excited. And to... Alberta. Someone said in Calgary oh, okay. there so... is a store that carries Whitakers. And we don't know how much it's gonna be, but yeah. we're gonna pay it. It doesn't matter how much it is. Like five hundred dollars? Done. Like, I need to know where it is. And, uh, <laughs> We'll have to do a little hunt to find what it is. Yes, goes. and we'll bring you guys along when we're back because <laughs> it's going to be top priority. Yeah, first <laughs> things first. Yeah. Where's the Whitakers? Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got one more thing, one more thing to try, one more treat, and it is the Fruju Ice Block. If I'm saying that wrong, let me know because I don't know how else you would say that. Fruju? Fruja. Fruju? Fruju. It is from Tip Top, which is a really well-known ice cream slash ice block brand and i'm not gonna lie doing research for this video i came across the term ice block for the first time and was like i have no idea what that is what is it? i don't know anything well we're point. gonna open it up and find out okay there are so many different flavors but i did read that pineapple crush is one yeah. of the better ones so these are popsicles oh. what we would call popsicles they are called ice blocks here and i think possibly australia and the uk say that as well Ooh. So it was very confusing to me when I saw ice block because I didn't know what to picture, but I mean, it makes sense. This is a block of ice. Makes sense. It's very bright yellow. <laughs> Extremely bright. It looks very um, oh, artificial. Wow. Oh, it's like a lot of pineapple coming at you right Whoa. away. Whoa, it's so flavorful. I mean, it's a little artificial, obviously, mm -hmm. but it's I, not. See, I don't get artificial off that really. I get like fresh pineapple off that. Okay. It I tastes like fresh pineapple juice to me. Like it has that kind oh. of sting to it that real pineapple does. Now that you say pineapple juice, I do get that. Yeah, it's like a just like they said on the thing, they just pack yeah. pineapple juice into the mold. Oh, is that what they mean by that? Okay. I think so. 20 grams of sugar per, per 100 grams. And these are 73. Reconstituted pineapple juice, 25%. Natural flavor, stabilizer, natural color, turmeric. That's what makes it so bright, I guess. Mm. Over time, I'm enjoying it more. It is quite sweet. It is very flavorful. Mm -hmm. I think this would be really good to make a cocktail with, as weird as that is to say. If you needed pineapple juice in a cocktail, like you would make the drink and then put one of these in like upside down and let it melt and stir it. I think that would be a really fun way to add like very flavorful, strong pineapple juice into a beverage. And then it's like also ice to cool it down. Yeah, no, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I don't know if I would buy them again. Not this flavor anyway. You seem like you're in pain. I'm like so out of it after all these snacks. I think I would rate this a six out of 10. Yeah. I think it might just be the flavor though. I think I would enjoy a different flavor a little bit more. I do like popsicles, but they're not my go-to frozen snack like ice cream or frozen yogurt I would pick over this. That wraps it up for all of our Kiwi slash Australian snacks. And I think we got some winners in here. There were some that didn't impress as much as others, but we know some of these treats very well and love them. I mean, special shout out, of course, to Whitaker's and RJ's and Cookie Time, despite, you know, these exact products being a flop. Yeah, like lots of Aussie treats. And it's almost maybe good that you put them in there. Did you subconsciously put them in there to make the New Zealand snacks like look way better because RJ's is top notch <laughs> and okay. same in like said Whitaker's yeah. and we love cooking time. The other ones, meh, like take, it or, take them or leave them any day of the week kind of thing, but. Yeah, New Zealand snacks are pretty top tier and we missed out on so many different ones here just because this is what I could find in store. If you guys have any favorite snacks that we did not try today, please leave us a comment down below and we'll do our best to give it a go before we leave New Zealand. Thank you so much for joining us for this video. I hope you had as much fun as we did. We'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye. Are you okay? Yeah. Drink a bunch of water. <laughs>